All right, what's going on, guys? So today I have Mr. Dean Thomas. Yes, he's here. He's in the building. Hi. And I have the great Aspen Lads in the building. We just did a podcast, so make sure you guys check that out. But today, Dean's here. He's going to go ahead and show you guys a couple of drills that you can do on the bag. And he absolutely has to use Miss Aspen Lad too as well. So here we go. All right, I'm going to do two things for you. The first one, I'm not gonna have her do because it'll just kind of take too long, but the idea is that you always wanna develop your jab and one of the best ways to develop your jab is to throw it in repetition without stopping. So the goal would be to try to get 300 jabs in a round, all right, without stopping. If you can do more, do more. So, but that would be the goal is just to sit and it doesn't have to be hard, but it just has to be consistent and constant. So I would constantly just be, And you would do that for three minutes, but the goal would be at least 300. And then when you can do that, do two rounds. And when you can do that, do three rounds. But keep going, because once you can develop a jab, it gives you something to do in a fight. And that's the problem with a lot of fighters, is they run out of things to do. And when there's nothing else to do, jab. All right, that's the first thing. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about slipping and ripping, just angling. All right, just being able to angle and then come off with a shot. And I'll have her do this, and she can actually do this one. So I'll just start off, I'll just throw the bag forward. As it comes back, slip, rip. And this will help you develop that reflex of being able to just come off on the side and being able to throw a shot because everyone knows that angles are key. You hit somebody in a, in a, in a spot where they don't see it coming, you hit them at an angle, that's where the damage gets done. So we wanna be able to create angles off of movement and come back with a shot. So just moving it, and coming back with a shot. Now don't move too soon, because if you, if you move too soon, what happens is that if this is a person and they're way out there and I move too soon, they're just gonna track me down. So the goal is to be able to move at the right time. We learn the timing of the shot, and then we also work on the range of the shot. So you develop reflexes in terms of when to move, and then also distance management so that we're moving in the right spot. So just come in here, move, hit, come off with a shot. Ask me you try. And then you can get fancy and even go the other way too. So like you can move the other way if you want to get fancy. Can you go the other way? She's like, oh no, don't put me under the spot. Yes, boom, yeah, that's it. Now here goes another thing. We're gonna get comments down there. They're gonna say, why you have her hitting the bag, knuckles only, we gotta keep her hands safe because she's an MMA fighter, she's not a bare knuckle fighter. See, Dean, I mean, you messing it. Come on, I know. come on, I'm coach. I'm sorry, we don't have our hands right. We're just doing a demonstration. <laughs> but the concept is the same. Just working on moving and being able to hit off of the move. Slipping and ripping. All right, guys, so there you have it. 300 jabs. 300, round. at the very least. If you don't do 300, you gotta do it again until you get 300. Again, you can also set it up with different styles of jabs too as well, or you- Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be like, it can just, you can flick it, you can come up, it, just just keep it going. We wanna get that muscle in your shoulders to be able to nonstop be able to move because that jab needs to be working. Yep. The most important thing in a stand-up fight, right? Yeah, is your, is your jab. You gotta have a jab. There you go. All right, hit the subscribe button. You know you're gonna like this video. Hit the like button because, again, like I said, I have Aspen Ladd and Dean Thomas here. Come on now. Do me a favor and do it for the algorithm. I'll see you again next time. Go ahead. <laughs> like an old man. <laughs> <laughs>